Hey folks, this is Bardic Dragoon. Welcome back, and let's play Parasite. So we last left off, a lot happened. And weapon modding. Maybe not the most interesting of episodes, but it happened. Now, it's time to go to the museum. Okay. So I meet him out in front of the station. That works. Wait a minute, the police station's got some nice music. Yo, what's up, Holmes? Alright, so. Now, time for the world map. But there is of it. Yeah, it's not exactly the biggest world map out there. And again, the entire game takes place on Manhattan Island, so, you know, whatever. So, we're heading to the museum then. It did suck museum, right? I hope it did. Okay, yeah, it's loading this scene. We'll, we'll get the museum. Hans Klump. That's an interesting name, actually. Hans Clamps. And clamps! Clamps! That seems right up our alley for what we're talking about here. Maybe they have good lamps? I, I don't know. Oh. <laughs> I agree with Aya, this is not looking to be good. Antisocial people do not make for good interviewers. What else would he be referring to? <laughs> hmm. Yeah, it's a good question. If they join the force at the same time, why... I mean, I, I'm not seeing this whole kiss-up thing here personally. I mean, he seemed like he was about to stand up for Aya before that phone call came in, but... And, yeah, I guess he is their boss, technically. You just don't seem like the kind of person to kiss up to people. Kind of the opposite. You punch strangers in the face because they piss you off. I can respect that. Mostly because if I didn't, you'd probably punch me Wark in the face. Bingy, what's Chocobo? Yeah, anyway. There's a Chocobo. They're having, they're having a museum exhibit about Chocobos. I'm not quite sure what you'd make a museum exhibit about Chocobos have, but I, I, I can dig it. Oh, he moves quick. Ah, the sound of freshly... Ah, uh, the sound of freshly fallen snow, because that looks more like grungy, nasty snow. It occurs to me most of the times I've spent in New York, or during the winter. Actually, no, there was that one time in the summer. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Just, just making small talk. Oh, well, oh, good. What luck? We get to actually talk to this guy. Okay. That was fairly easy to get into a museum that's closed. Hmm. Well, at least if we can get him to talk, he seems like he'd know a lot. He's very busy with the research work. Well, let's get going. Right. Was a security guard just hitting on Aya? I mean, on some level, I can't blame him. I mean, but that just seemed like it came out of left field. 
It also could just be just a general thing. I, I don't know. How do registry books like that work? Is putting your number down a common thing, or, or was he asking for a number? I don't know. All right. So let's see what this antisocial scientist has to say. Oh. I don't even need... I should, probably should still knock. I don't know. You might have noxious chemicals going on in there. Seems innocuous enough, just busy pecking away at his computer. Ignoring us. Oh. Intentionally ignoring us. You know, I was hoping he was just busy and is involved in his work. Silly me. They just ask the questions? Is he not gonna respond? Well, double take, that's Oh, another mysterious flashback. Okay. We can live with... Hey, wasn't there a doctor in the last flashback, though? Huh. So... He experimented on Aya? This game's really good at bringing up questions without answering anything. Really good at just not explaining things. Really, if not for the case that's been going on, it would seem a little out of the blue. What did the NYPD care about mitochondria? You know, when you say it out loud, it really does sound kind of crazy. And it only gets crazier the more you explain it. Okay. What does that even mean? The true mitochondria, what does that mean? Well, yeah, that's the whole, what is it, mitochondria Eve, the, you can trace back, like, the lineage of humans or something. Is that actually a separate organism? I mean, I'll admit, I'm, I'm, I'm not a big science person here. Science-y enough to care, but not enough to really know details, and even then, biology's never been one I really cared about. More like, like a casual interest in physics and astronomy and stuff like that. Yeah, like a parasite or something. Suddenly things make sense. Okay, explain. Okay, actually, uh, that seems like it'd be hard to live without energy. Energy is kind of important. Kind of attributing big things to a. Uh, Actually, not even really a single-celled organism, because it's part of a cell, I, I guess. I don't know, is it like a cell within the cell? Uh, what are axons and dendrites? Okay, well, uh, that makes sense, but go back to what are axons and dendrites? And for that matter, why is he working in Photoshop? I'm pretty sure that's the Photoshop color palette there. I could be wrong, though. That seems excessive. That's a lot of electricity, what? Well, that could explain people spontaneously bursting into flames. Okay, that's horrifying. I don't want to be in my body anymore. That's scary. He 
Yeah, I guess that makes sense. I don't know. I'm, I'm still on the whole... Uh, there's enough standard energy in the mitochondria in your body to just turn you into a puddle. If, 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 if I'm kind of horrified by that still. Huh? So it doesn't just do energy? What? Um, okay. Okay. Actually, yeah, I've met one or two people who that didn't happen. They had like, like not even a full webbed hand though. Just like I think it was like his middle and ring finger like webbed. It was kind of crazy looking. Okay, I, I makes sense. I guess again, not a big biology person here. Of course it is. Of course it is. So they can set fire to us. They can kill us if they want. Can I not be in my body anymore? I'm kind of scared of it suddenly. <laughs> Eesh. Hmm. Okay. I think this is making sense. If mitochondria mutate ten times faster than regular cells, then they would evolve ten times faster than single-celled organisms, which means that they would evolve really, really faster than people. So over millions of years, they could become self-aware and kill people. That's it. That actually sounds completely insane. Then again, spontaneous combustions at the Opera House and strange floating mutants. I, it's, at this point, why not? No. Okay, it's not where he was going with this, okay? <laughs> oh. That's why we get old. Because of mitochondria. The mitochondria do everything. Can I remind you people, I'm kind of horrified right now. Yeah, but they don't have brains. They can't willingly do this, I guess? I mean, they, they don't have brains. They, they can't do this consciously, right? Oh, hey! The thing I was just talking about. I was right! See, I can be insane, crazy, crackpot scientist and say stuff like that makes logical sense from other stuff. I think. I don't even know what I'm doing, saying anymore here. That seemed like an important thing to do. And then I guess with the whole mitochondrial Eve tracing back lineage or whatever. Oh yeah, mitochondrial Eve, see? The thing I said earlier. Mitochondria Eve. See? I know my stuff. Maybe. Sort of, I don't know. See? Aya gets it. Finally got your attention, huh, buddy? He's hiding something. <laughs> Please, someone explain what the heck is going on here. Apparently it's not going to be him, but... I, I think we got more information out of him than I was originally expecting. I mean, antisocial, sit in his lab all day studying scientist type. Not the kind of person you expect to get a lot of... Well, I don't know, I guess it depends on how passionate and interested they are. But anyway, he's killed a whole day? Talking to that guy about mitochondria? Oh, that stinks. All right, well, let's head back to the, the police station then. With our sort of new information. Mostly it seemed like a bunch of semi-relevant facts, really. Eh, he is kind of obnoxious. You saw the flashback as clear as we did, right? 
Then again, we don't know what that is. I mean, it looks like a hospital. I would assume it's a hospital, but I don't know. Oh. Okay, going on. Ah, breaking the case. What's going on? It's going down, Daniel. Yay, sirens! I don't know why that was so. I'm so excited by that. I, I really don't. Mm. All right, so back to the NYPD 17th precinct. I wonder how many precincts there are. And I probably should start by getting a clear definition of what a precinct is. Hey, what's up, homie? That seems like the most arduous way to turn around. Yeah, I don't blame you. She's not exactly a glooker here. She was before she mutated into a horrible abomination. But now, like, not even, you know, as far as PP Monster Girls go, does she look good. I mean, she's got a giant phallic object coming out from under her torso and just that hair. <laughs> what do you say? No. Oh. Starting the meeting. Okay. I was so busy rambling, I didn't pay attention when text just popped up on the screen for a second. So there are only like four people on the police. Well, okay, I guess there's the two guys in the gun department, the generic female cop in the hallway, and the guy at the front desk. So, I mean, what, that brings us up to six. Like, eight people in the police force? That just seems, like, too few. Oh, yeah, that's right. They mentioned it in the diary, didn't it? She had that solo concert at Central Park. Okay. The concert was worth people not told? Then again, I guess this is kind of a pre-internet era, so, you know, harder to get the information out, I guess? I don't know. Okay. Wait. Wait, wait. It's... I mean, Central Park's a cool place, especially if you can see it from the top of Empire State Building. I mean, pretty much everything looks cool from there, though. But, what's up, Daniel? Oh! Well, I think he might have a vested interest in this not going horribly awry. Alright, well. Um... You might want to go follow him. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yes, another mod permit, okay. So, let's do that. First of all, to get it out of our inventory so we still have space. Because, between the videos here, I went and took a couple of my weapons out of my inventory. Or out of the stockpile inventory, because... Sorry, it just occurred to me, there's an offense stat, I thought it was all equipment based uh, sparse stats in this game. Mm. Anyway, uh, as I was saying, I went and took some stuff out of the storage because ultimately I don't think go I'm going to have as many heal items as I need. Okay, seems like a good way to look at it. Guns aren't really toys, so yeah, if you look at them that way, it's probably not a good thing. And I'm guessing he's probably going to say that's not the point. Yeah. <laughs> kind of missing the point of what he's saying, I think, here. Yeah. So they're a great pair of individuals, really on point with each other. By the way, you can, like, get all kinds of ammo there. It's one of the reasons you really have no reason to have the club, but you can't get rid of it, so... You've always got to have at least one club in your inventory. Yes, I do. And... And, yeah, you could... The way the... The way the equipment mod kit... Or... Uh, 
the mod permits work because they allow you to add extra slots to the gun. Each gun does have a maximum number of slots, uh, which the, for example, the P220 here that we're using can have up to five slots, I think. I'm just looking at this like 10 minutes ago. Or, okay, actually more about uh, 30 minutes ago, but either way. And there we go, now we have three slots. Which is going to be useful, because, as I was saying, we'll probably talk about this more, because we're coming close to the end of this video, it's another 20 minutes. And, you know, mostly what we did was get frustrated with a antisocial scientist. Yep, following your words of wisdom. Anyway, but yeah, because the way the guns work with the modding them, I won't get into too much more detail, because, actually... Yeah, we'll give it a few more moments here. I'm not going to go back to the same save point. We're going to advance the plot at least a little bit more. First, I'm going to talk to you. Yeah, that would be bad, especially because there are trees. Trees, well, actually, then again, curtains. All that other stuff was pretty flammable, too, so... That uh, repeat of last night would be just as horrible, really, wouldn't it? Hmm. Ooh, yeah! Like, the most pointless cutscene in the game, but I just love this scene. Just because, like, peeling out and, like, doing that sharp, drifting turn, just coming out of a police station. Sirens blaring. That's like, yeah! I don't know. I'm just excited. I don't know. Some probably mitochondrial combination. Mm -hmm. I don't know. So she needs that fire into them. Just, just cause a big old conflagration. I don't think we can hurry anymore. I mean, we got the sirens blaring, and it is New York. Traffic is, yeah, traffic is a nightmare. Not as bad as most people would think traffic in New York is, but having been up there a little bit, though, not having driven. I, I don't drive, so I didn't drive, but yeah, and you get to certain areas of the city, traffic gets pretty crazy. But, let's go to Central Park. You know? Never been to Central Park. Don't go, Daniel! Okay, there is that, okay. We told you not to go, see? <laughs> yeah, since we're pretty much fireproof. There is that. There, there is that. You're not going to do him any good dead. So, let's hold, use our whole mitochondrial fire retarded, retardantness, our non-flammability to go save the day. I hope. Alright. So as you can see by the glowing red light, we found another save, we found another phone. Which means it's time, there's another save point. And considering we've been at this for a little over 20 minutes, I think uh, it's time to end this video here. So, with that in mind, tune in next time, folks, when, well, we'll be exploring Central Park. No doubt we'll face some mutant abominations in the process, but, yeah, that's to be expected in this game by now, I'd imagine. Anyway, until then, as always, later, folks.